Hello guys. Today, 28th of January, the time when everybody talk about Russian invasion to Ukraine. I'm receiving so many messages suggesting me to leave Ukraine immediately and hide somewhere because Russia is gonna attack Ukraine and take it over in a very short period. And today I decided to make this video outside in the public place exactly to show you how the real feelings of Ukrainians, are they scared of invasion, what they're doing before it and uh, what's the daily routine here? So what's the people expectations? People who know the history, politics, who is organizing economy, who is educated, they are not in fear of invasion because they don't see it possible. Uh, actually, while we was living in Soviet Union with Russia for a very long time, we know exactly how all the government machine is working, how the propaganda is working, and how what they do to scare the people and what they mean in reality, because we was the part of the system, and now we look at the system from the side. Just yesterday I was reading the group of moms of some very regional city and one girl exactly was saying I feel panic about war so uh, I cannot sleep, I feel that they are going to invade us so um, what you can suggest me? And most of the girls they were suggesting throughout the TV don't watch news, go to work, care about kids, you have nothing to do or what and this somehow is reflecting the real uh, ideas of average citizens of Ukraine who is living here. They believe that it is some kind of media hype. The media is talking so much about it, so much visible that it cannot be true. Why people do not believe in invasion? Because things look a way to be true. In 2014, when Russia was gonna occupy Crimea and it's proved already that they was preparing this operation since very long time, it was made in the way that nobody was expecting that at all. And that happened. And Ukraine was totally not prepared. And they know that Ukraine is not prepared. And they know that our soldiers totally was not ready to fight. And even for a very long time, they was corrupting our president to stop accepting the soldiers to the army at all, uh, to start uh, uh, taking out a lot of weapons because, yeah, you don't have with whom to fight. Nowadays, it's a huge hype that they're gonna attack you right now, this minute, the next minute, tomorrow. And there are so much supply of the weapon to Ukraine. Ukrainian army become much more stronger since 2014. And actually, everybody is preparing for that. So to attack and invade, it would be too much obvious or something to make it really um, worse to attack. So actually, why majority of Ukrainians do not really feel scared of what's happening and how they can explain the things? Uh, there are many theories which people have. One, they said, they just try to scare us. They, this is normal Russian uh, behavior. They always try to scare us in some way. They was always scaring us that they will disconnect us from the gas and we will freeze in, uh, in winter. They were scaring about so many things before. Now they reach to the scaring us that we will invade you physically. And even Russian still, uh, their uh, minister of uh, defense and so on, they're saying they are not going to attack Ukrainians. So they are not the one who is saying that they're going to attack. And people also believe in that. Another part of Ukrainians claim that what they want, they are saying that Ukraine are going to join NATO and that's what Putin don't want. In reality, Ukraine is planning to join NATO since 2004. And we still don't have a setup day that it's coming on this day, on this month we are gonna sign agreement to be part of NATO. NATO has so many requirements towards Ukraine, which we still didn't fulfill. And NATO by themselves, they are not sure do they really want to accept Ukraine or not. Now they start to say that we will accept or Russia shouldn't care, but still it is totally not finalized and we are not gonna join it this year or even next year or maybe next couple of years. So it's long process and it doesn't seem real that right now Russia decide to fight for it. Some part of people think that it's made from Russia to trade for something because yes, the invasion is very obvious and Russia should understand by themselves it's totally, totally not beneficial for them. So they want to scare everybody and the world and make them to remove the sanctions, for example, to open some Russian projects which they freeze because of invasion to Ukraine, uh, to do some other things which maybe we are not aware of it, but they both know what they want to trade for. And this is their way to, to pressurize the West and pressurize US to do what they want. 
some guys think there are some parties which is related to all this kind of conflict and all this situation and it is all made to force ukraine to accept something and it's not about nato or something it can be some business agreements between countries it can be something uh, for international agreements it can be some anything else and the point that uh, the western countries will be telling us that see they're gonna invade you they're going to invade you and yeah we will supply you weapons we will supply you soldiers we will supply you everything but you know always it's better safe than sorry maybe you can just uh, refuse from this point exactly or you can help them to get this contract and that would be done so there are some people who believe in such theories as well and um, there are many more uh, actually this is just what i found but there are so many thoughts so many ideas but as i said majority of people they don't really uh, believe that anything bad can happen now let us walk around and see how is the atmosphere here so that's the supermarket and the cashier section as you see people is not wide in bulk in panic like it was before coronavirus for example on that time people was really crazy buying a lot of stuff now you can see that uh, the panic here is not visible everybody buying little by little just needed things nothing special